Caring for succulents indoors can be tricky, but it doesn't mean that it's not possible. So here's my 8 care tips to not kill your succulent babies. <laughs> Hi! Thank you again for clicking on this video. I'm sorry I've been in my A. I missed you guys. I know you didn't miss me. But, you know, for the past few weeks, I've just been busy cooking up something new for Wild Child. I'm actually really excited to share this with you. I'm going to launch a website very soon. It's a website! Ah, uh, you know, it's wildchildgreenery.com. It's for plant parents to make your shopping experience easier. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to announce the launch of the website in my Instagram page. And I hope that you'll stay with me through that journey as well. But for today, we'll talk about succulents. Sorry, di ako magaling magsegue. So anyway, before we go any further with our succulents video, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button right there. 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 Thank you! Kailangan natin onting background para mas maintindihan natin kung paano ba natin sila alagaan, di ba? So, succulents are plants that have thick, almost swollen leaves. Kasi yung leaves itself retain water for the plant. Yung word na succulent comes from the Latin word which means sap or juice. So, ito ang mga succulents, habitat nila is desert areas. You know, with very high temperatures, sobrang init, tapos with very low rainfall, halos hindi umuulan. So, kaya very drought tolerant sila. And because of that, kaya siguro siya nagiging favorite na alagaan indoors. Kasi, may general perception tayo na they are low maintenance. But I have to be honest with you, it's not really that easy to care for succulents indoors. Okay? Because most of the succulents, kailangan nila ng at least 6 to 10 hours of bright light throughout the day. So, mahirap siya i-retain sa loob ng bahay. But, kaya ako gumawa ng video na to, it's to help you out. Hindi perket tricky siya lagaan indoors. Uh, it doesn't really mean that it's impossible. Kaya siya. Kaya. So that's why here I have eight care tips for your succulents. My first care tip is of course picking the right succulent for the right spot. Ang succulents kasi talaga uh, gusto talaga nila ng bright light. So, masaya siya kapag nasa labas. Pero syempre, paano kung gusto mo sa loob? So, you have to choose succulents that can tolerate lower light conditions. Snake plant, diba? This is a type of succulent that can tolerate low light conditions. And, jade! Jade! Okay, so basically, paano mo ba malalaman? Syempre, you would have to do research ano ba yung mga plants na or succulents na nakaka-tolerate ng lower light conditions. But, there's a general rule. Yung mga succulents that have, you know, yung nasa mas color purple like this, or yung mga reddish, or yung mga pinkish na kita natin yun, mga ganong klase ng succulents, yun yung mas gusto nilang mas constant na naaarawan. So, hindi siya, ay medyo mahirap siya to be kept indoors unless you have grow lights. Pero, kung wala ka namang grow lights, tapos talaga medyo low yung limit, low light talaga siya sa loob siya. General rule is, of course, you stick to the uh, succulents that are naturally green. Yan. Yung mga naturally green daw kasi, mas kaya niya na lower light conditions. So, yun yung general rule natin. Of course, you have to put the red succulent in the right spot. Please put your succulents in the in a sunny location. Uh, usually, sa tabi ng bintana. Yan, kapag indoors. Kasi nga, syempre, sabi nga natin, sanay siya talaga na madaming kinukuhang ilaw throughout the day. So, kung ganun, nilagay na natin siya talaga sa medyo mas malapit sa bintana para at least mas magkaroon siya ng exposure to sun. Kapag wala sila kasi nakukuha masyadong light, syempre, maghahanap yan. So, it will grow leggy. Masyadong maging extend. Magsistretch siya masyado. Sini siya ganun na maganda yung growth niya. So, please put your succulents in a sunny location. So make sure that your succulent is in a right potting mix. Maraming nabibili naman ng mga cactus mix or succulent mix, pero usually, na potting mix dapat for succulents is yung meron siyang mixture ng perlite or pumice sand. Mga ganun. Yun yung mga, mga malalaking mga particles na hinahalo natin sa soil para mas madaling matuyo yung lupa kapag dinibiligan pag dinibiligan natin yung succulents kasi succulents ayo kasi talaga nilang nabababad masyado sa tubig for so long bakit pag nababad din sa tubig malulusaw ang succulents mo so gusto natin important sa kanila na kapag dinibiligan sila tuyo kagad yung lupa at yung mga perlite at pumice na yun yun yung nakakatulong para madali siyang matuyo ano bang perlite or pumice ito ito if you see the white 
Yan, white pebbles there. Ito is actually a perlite. So, nakakatulong yan. Dapat hinahalo mo siya, especially sa akin. Gusto mo siya siya hinahalo sa bottom part kasi doon, nandun talaga yung roots. So, hinahalo ko siya madami siyang perlite dapat sa ilalim para mas madali nga matuyo yung lupa. So, make sure nasa tamang pot yung mix. Care tip 4, make sure that the pot of your succulents have dry shoes. Yan. Ito siya. Yung may buta sa ilalim. Yan. So, bakit? Kasi sinabi na nga natin, di ba, na, bakit ah, kakulit mo ba? <laughs> I mean, sinabi na kasi talaga natin na ayaw ng succulents na bababad masyado sa tubig. So, kapag dinigan mo siya at hindi nakaka-escape yung excess water sa mismong pot, eh di nababad dyan yung succulent mo. So, kailangan lang talaga, mayroong butas para yung excess water, lalabas lang din siya outside. At least, hindi, hindi nababad yung succulent mo in water. <laughs> Please rotate your pot frequently. Para mas even yung pag, pagtubo ng succulent. Kadalasan kasi, syempre, sipin nyo kung nandiyan lang siya. Ganyan lang siya. Tapos, throughout day and night, ang succulent pa naman, or any plant, pumupunta siya sa direction kung nasaan yung source of sunlight. So, mapapansin nyo yan sa mga ibang plants nyo na nag-lean towards the kung saan yung window. Kasi nga, nandun yung source of light. So, para mas even yung pagtubo ng halaman or ng succulent nyo, i-rotate nyo siya. I-rotate nyo siya. Ayan o, ito medyo, kailangan ko siya talaga i-rotate kasi medyo on the other side siya nakarap. So, ganun lang siya. Para mas even. Keep. So, my next care tip is water deeply but less frequently. So, what does that mean? It means, when you water your succulent, make sure that you water directly into the soil. Maraming mga tao nagkakaroon ng misconception na dapat imimiss mo lang succulent mo and fine, wala na, okay lang yun. No, kasi if you just miss the, the succulent sa leaves, hindi talaga pupunta pa baba yung mismo water na kailangan niya. So, tapat tayo whenever we water them, you really water it directly into soil. And when you water it, make sure na yung water, di ba, dapat may drainage hole. So, dapat bumag bumabagsak din yung excess water pa baba. In that way, malalaman talaga natin na yung water na pinagbilig natin sa kanya, nakaabot talaga sa root system ng mismo plant. Yun yung pinagbig sabihin ng water deeply. Now, what do we mean when we say less frequently? Eto, ang mga succulents na to, big sabihin lang nun, ayaw nila ng madalas binibiligan. So, mortal sin. Hmm, mortal sin. Biligan nyo sila araw-araw. They will hit you. They will curse you. And I will hit you for it. I'm just kidding. Pero kasi bakit? Malulusaw din siya. Kasi ang succulents, gusto talaga nila na nagda-dry out muna completely yung soil bago mo sila biligan ulit. Bigyan mo sila ng time to recover from the love that you have given them. Please give me space. Yun ang sinasabi ng succulent mo. Seven. Maybe seven. <laughs> My seventh care tip is, of course, keep the leaves of your succulents clean. Yeah. And how do I do this? Is with the use of a makeup brush. Kadalasan kasi nga, di ba, matigas yung leaves nila, pero madali din siya mabump off. Tapos matanggal. Kasi iyak ko. Hmm. So, ayaw mo manyari yun. Ako, I just use, you know, an old makeup brush or any other brush na soft yung bristles niya talaga. Tapos yun ang ginagamit ko. Yan. Very, very light lang ang paglilinis ko. Kasi nga, ang succulents, they don't really they don't move much. So, mas madali sila makakollect ng dust. Eh, kailangan natin malinis yung leaves nila. Kasi, of course, remember in grade school, they do photosynthesis too. Yung photosynthesis na yun kasi nangyayari siya sa leaves ng mga plants. Ano ba yung photosynthesis? Ano ba siya ulit? Okay, photosynthesis yun yung own way ng mismo plants natin to produce their own food. And they do it usually with their leaves. Ngayon, kung nabablock ng dust, yung supposedly dapat photosynthesis process nila, edi kawawa na may plant natin. So, hindi siya mas mag-grow as healthy as we would want. So, it's important that we dust them to clean them para malinis yung leaves nila and they can reproduce their own food successfully. Here's my last tip is it involves infestation. Mga bugs, mga mealy bugs and nuts. Nuts. Sorry. Okay, so, yung succulents, kasi nga kadalasan, cute sila, pero syempre nakakasakit din sila, just like other plants. And yung mga mealy bugs and nuts, yun yung usual na sakit ng mga succulents. Ano ba yun? Yung mga puti na nakadikit, na talagang nakahug sa plant mo for their dear lives. 
madami yan kadalasan. So, buti itong mga babies ko wala ngayon. Pero, if ever you have um, you have the same problem or you have the same problem, my plan kit for that is alcohol. Okay? So, dapat mga at least 70% of isopropyl alcohol. So, plant nyo, i-spritz mo lang yung alcohol. Or, kung meron talaga sa mismo soil, meron mga nandoon, you can also pour in a mixture of water and alcohol sa mismo soil ng plant nyo para, mas, para mamatay yung mga any eggs or larvae na namuuna sa loob ng soil ng plant nyo. Don't worry, it won't, be, it won't kill your plant. It can be one of the effective ways that can help you uh, get rid of these, these pets. pests. So, there. And that's it. As usual, I had so much fun talking about my plants and how to care for them. And I hope you did too. And if you actually enjoyed, please do not forget to comment down below or maybe like this video, subscribe, and maybe share this with your friends. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!